chaps. We are diving straight in this morning. We're getting the beer into these corny cakes which we've got here. You'll see that uh, they're just normal homebrew corny cakes, 19 litres. Nothing special about them, apart from the fact we've got five here, because that's all I've got. So what I'm going to do in each one of these corny kegs is dose the tank with uh, this All Clear C, which is an Isinglass Finings. Now I'm only using this because I want the beer to be a little bit polished until we can get the cooling system and time in the tanks and everything else, a cold room all sorted out. This will just dig me out of the poo in terms of clarification. So this Alclear C is a concentrated finings. So one pint of this will make three pints of a final product. Basically I've just mixed it up in this big jug here. So we're going to want half a pint approximately in each, <clears throat> in each corny. So lid off. Let's back boys. Just pop them on there upside down. So we'll put half of this into the tank. Measuring it by eyes good enough. It's fine ends after all. It's not exactly hops. And then we've already sanitized the pathwork and everything. So I'm just gonna drop this tube in to the bottom so we don't have any splashes and fill up as a tank so yeah we're just gonna let that fill now for the next 10 minutes while uh, i get these done i think that's how long it'll take me to do these five So the next task is to get all these cornies that we've got down here, these bad boys, hook them up to the uh, regulators we've got. You can't see it, can you? Hook them up to the regulators that we've got under the stairs here. And the reason you saw me cutting this piece of, uh, well, artificial grass is because I want to lay the kegs on the floor and roll them backwards and forwards to get that CO2 in. So we'll do these one at a time and then when that's done I'm going to leave them hooked up on 40 psi until tomorrow morning. That one looks like it might want to leak a little bit. We'll see how we go anyway. We'll see how we go. So that one will do. Garçon. Garçon. And we're not nowhere near 40 psi. The screwdriver. So let's just wind this up a touch. Will it pull 40? Well, if that's on 50. There we go, 40 PSI. So, I'm gonna set the timer on my phone for a minute, and we'll start rocking and rolling. Got a leaky post. Oh, 
that's it. Smells good. Right, so this is the in post. And it's just leaking like billy -o. Uh, and I think it's the poppet. Yeah, the poppet valve. Oh god. It's knackered. So I do have some spares of these at home. These little. There we go. You can see it's actually started to fray in that corner. So I guess I'm just going to have to change that o ring out if possible and then it should be alright what a bummer what a bum hole so uh, I'll shoot up home at some point and get those other poppets might be wise to do it now and then uh, we can at least get some of these on the bar and test them out it feels like a bit of a patchwork quilt of a vlog today but hopefully you guys are my editing skills will allow us to make sense of it somehow. So I've got a uh, pump clip for the keg. Is this machine focusing or what? It's taking all bloody week it would appear. Not exactly what I want it to look like on the final cut, but uh, good enough for me, boys and girls, good enough for me. God, that's a new blade and all, it's absolutely cack. Bear with. Right, so maybe that's done that. Let's have a look. Ah, beautiful, mate. Ah, it's a beautiful day. So, yeah, all we're going to be doing is effectively is sticking this on there and cutting it out. Just like that. And you can see we've got a scrumpy wasp one here. And it's exactly the right size. I don't know how I managed to do that. But apparently, 76 mil by 80, I think. No, 85. 76 by 85, I think. We'll double check that if we do any more of these. Right, actually, while I'm doing this, I may as well talk briefly about uh, the pump that we had that uh, broke down on the glycol chili the other day. Um, I think the comments that are on there are right about the fact that it could potentially be a fire hazard. I said it wasn't initially, but on reflection, I've tested the foam and it is flammable, so... I wouldn't advise insulating it like that. Now the reason I did insulate it like that was because the last time I built one of these pieces of kit the uh, the pump would freeze. It was that cold it would freeze all the outside and then obviously we had an issue of just condensation constantly dripping everywhere because of uh, all the frost thawing out on the pump when it turned off which was a bastard. So this time round I thought just insulate the pump no condensation and it worked but of course that pump if it fails like it did and it fails with no glycol in it then obviously there's yeah no way for it to stay cool so thanks for the comments boys and girls um, I think you're probably right, the foam is a bad idea, so the new installation won't be having the foam, it'll just be mounted side of the glycol chiller and any condensation that forms, well you know what, tough hit air, it's just going to have to drip on the floor, but you know the actual pond pump that's submerged inside the glycol tank itself it seems to be doing quite a good job so while I do have another central heating pump on order I think I'm just gonna wait 
until that other one fails. I don't see why it would really. Glycol's quite a decent lubricant and uh, it's never going to overheat in there because it's minus 10.3. Right, there we go, that's done. I'm just going to tidy the edges up on the sander so it's smooth on the outside and then we'll go up to the pub and we'll put the vacant gesture on keg. What do you think? So folks, we're behind the bar. We've got the craft keg on, and I know quite a few people have been asking, can we see some of the Harrison's Brewery beer on the bar? Well, I've just moved this craft keg, so I'm just gonna have to let it settle for a little bit. But we do have to check the carbonation on it. Might not be fizzy enough. And uh, on the plus side, over here, all oh, the pump clips have fell off because they're just blue tacked on, it's so warm. Over here we've got the vacant gesture on cask. I want to go and turn it on. Into the cold room and we will see that this is the vacant gesture with its bum up in the air. That's telling me that the cask is nearly empty and ready for a new one. So, it's routine to pull off the ullage out of the line. Chances are, with this pump, we've got about three quarters of a pint. That should do the trick there. And then, I'm not gonna have a pint, boys and girls, because I'm still at work, essentially. So where are the sparklers? For all you northerners, okay? We'll put the sparkler on. And for all you southerners, it's tough luck. Right then. Let's see how this compares, boys and girls. Now I can't see because the viewfinder's not out. But how's that? Behold! A thing of true beauty. She's clearing nicely, what do you think to that? She's a very nice looking beer. Okay, so we've got that off there. I mean, I kind of know what colour this is going to be. But let's put some craft keg at the side of it. not looking fizzy enough to me but look at the difference can you see the difference of those two of course one of them is opaque one of them is crystal clear oh my god I know which one has the best aroma funnily enough it is the keg for sure oh. it's not fizzy enough I'm gonna have to go back down there and roll it a bit more. Mmm. Wow. That is the nuts though. So a little bit more CO2 on these uh, keg beers. Probably need twice as much again. So probably another two minutes of rolling each and then we'll bring them back up, hook them back up and see how we go. What do you think, guys? What do you think? I'm of course not gonna go down and show you the whole rigmarole again. We're gonna end the vlog here. But just look at those two fantastic, delicious, same fermenter, different serving style. This has got the aroma of a, any IPA. It looks like one as well, doesn't it? Cheers, we'll see you tomorrow. Mmm. There you go, Greg. Within your 200 days, sir, within your 200 days, we are drinking beer. Mmm. Fantastic. We'll see you tomorrow.